Hey, and welcome back to my channel. So today I am going to finally start decorating for the fall. Evan and I went into the basement last night and pulled up as much as we could so that I basically have everything out. There are a few things that I know are missing, but hopefully I'll just find them at a later date and I'll get them up. As you can see, definitely haven't started decorating yet, so I'm really excited. I do have two DIY projects that I want to do before I start decorating though, because they will be part of the decor once I start putting things up. So I'll show you guys what I am working on with that. This is one of the projects that I am working on and it's actually way more difficult than I had originally planned. Well, okay, it hasn't been difficult yet, but I'm making it harder on myself because all I can find is Alani's chunky chalk. I cannot find my actual thin white pieces of chalk. So I had to draw all of these lines with that and that definitely made things a lot harder. Altogether, this project is gonna cost me about $2, which is phenomenal as long as everything turns out great. I will show you guys what I started out with and what I ended up doing was last night, I used this chalk paint and I painted this whole side and then I just rubbed chalk on it and then erased it so that it was basically prepped for chalk. I'm gonna be making kind of like a bucket list decoration and I've seen them online, but I was like, I can totally do that. I know we have chalk paint. I already have chalk markers. I considered using my Cricut and just printing all the vinyl and having that on it. That way it would look basically perfect but I would love to change this up for the seasons. So even though I'm definitely no professional when it comes to chalk design, I decided that I'll just write it out myself and that way I will be able to change it for the different seasons that I would like. the whole sign but I didn't like the way it turned out so I redid the sign and now I just have to add some embellishments to it. Okay so I put the sign with everything else and honestly it doesn't look terrible but I will say I was hoping to be able to use some fall colors on it and because the chalk paint is black it just ended up looking too dark. So that is why I ended up erasing everything and then starting over. But I think I'm actually going to buy white chalk paint, repaint the whole thing so that I can use my pretty fall chalk markers. I just got finished lunch, which honestly, I went way too long without eating. I definitely need to be better at that, especially since I'm pregnant. But I stuffed my face and I wanna move on to my next DIY project. I wanna have these done before I start decorating. Of course, I wanted to start decorating while Alani is upstairs napping, and she is upstairs while Evan's putting her down right now. So my window of time is getting smaller and smaller. The sign took me way longer than I had planned because I ended up erasing everything and starting over and I'm still not even loving it. And so I'm gonna move on to a yarn garland or I guess kind of like a pom-pom garland. I'll show you guys a little bit of how I am making that. But I do plan on doing a full blog post on the pom-pom garland.
the garland the plan is for it to go above Alania's kitchen so I think I'm going to do her kitchen first I have a feeling that it's gonna take me a little longer than I had planned to tackle everything because of doing the sign twice so I want to tackle her kitchen first so that is ready for her when she comes down from her nap her kitchen is a mess right now <laughs> But over the summer, I had done a lemon theme. So I had made her sign and decorated the top as well as I made that banner. But I have to clean her kitchen first because we did not have her do that before nap time. And I'll be putting up this sign. I made this last night. So I'll be cutting that out and putting it into that space. Okay, so that was very quick and easy. I basically have a blank canvas to work with. I put her little sign in over here and I'll put the banner up top. And I honestly haven't decided what I wanna put at the top of this, but I will pull things out and kind of just play with it and see what I like. finished everything in Alani's little kitchen. I turned on the lights so that you can get the full effect of how it all came together. I already went over this sign. I just made it myself and printed it and I already showed how to make the palms. I'll have more details in a blog post. And this is just leaves from Hobby Lobby and a little battery operated light from Dollar Tree. The scarecrow and pumpkin I got from Dollar Tree. This E, I actually love using it. We had this on our table at our wedding, the E for Evan, and then there was an A for my name, Autumn. And Elani's name begins with an E, so I've been putting it on her kitchen and she absolutely loves it. This, I can't remember. I. I think it was Michael's a couple years ago, and then I just bought these picks to go into it. I normally put it in the kitchen window because I like the way the sun comes through this glass, but I thought it looked really cute up here, so I will let Alani have it this year. And again, pumpkin from Dollar Tree, and the lights as well, the leaves from Hobby Lobby, and then this little owl is also from Dollar Tree. But that is how her little fall kitchen has come together. <laughs> Someone just woke up and she didn't notice her kitchen yet. Do you want to see your kitchen? Do you want to see it? Look how messy mommy made the table. Where's your kitchen? There it is. Do you like it? You don't know what to think? Like it? Oh, I'm glad you like it. What are you making? Mix, mix. You gonna make banana bread? Alani's gonna help me make this banana bread from Trader Joe's. It honestly just says two large eggs, a third cup of water, and three quarters cup of water, in addition to the package that it comes with of the dry mix. 
but it says you can add your own thing. So we're gonna add bananas, and I think we're gonna add vanilla, nutmeg, and cinnamon. I'm so glad that's all over your nose and mouth. I want to take this time to try to get some decorations up. I opened up the bin and I swear there's another somewhere. So either there is a lost bin that we did not find or this is really all I have, which seems strange because I really feel like I have more than this. done and it turned out looking really good so hopefully it tastes good I don't know that we'll have a chance to try it in this video so this is the one side of our shelving as you can see I repainted the sign I was not liking the black with the colors that I have already going on so I decided to repaint that I always have our wedding picture up no matter what the season is I always keep that picture up and I always keep our book from our engagement as well. That's one of the first pictures of Alani, like not in the hospital, she was definitely older than that, but I have that picture framed and that always stays on the shelf as well. But I found that I was missing an entire bin of fall things, so I used what I have, but I do not have enough stuff to decorate anything other than the living room. This is the other side of our shelves. Again, this sign always stays, a friend made it for us, and I now see that I do have to fix the top part of that. And I always keep our wedding album up here. I have another vase on the other shelf like this that I still have to buy florals for, but other than that, this shelf is basically finished. And then I have this one down here as well. This is another thing that always stays, signatures from our wedding. We had a very small intimate wedding and I absolutely loved it. But this is basically all the decor I could find. So I really would like to decorate other spaces, but I cannot. I refuse to go out and buy fall things. I understand things are 40% off and all of that, but I will wait till the end of the season when they are more like 80 and 90% off because those are the best sales. And on the subject of the best sales being at the end of the season, I originally could only find one of the pumpkin pillows, but I did find them both. I got all of these pillows from Target. The plain ones came with the couch, but I got the decorative pillows from Target at the end of the season last year, and each of them was only $5 when the original tag said 20. So this is why I wait till the end of the season to buy my seasonal decor. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you are not yet subscribed, please make sure to subscribe. I've got a lot more content coming and I will see you in the next one. Bye.